So if you can't tell, we had uh, a little bit of fun. We went Fiskar shopping at Tony's. So we uh, went and got a bunch of Fiskar stuff from Tony's. Obviously it's gonna cost us some totes, but whatever, it is what it is. We got the fun stuff and Tony wants some totes. So we're gonna basically trade Fiskars for totes. So we can't complain. So I got a nice shovel, flat and a spade. I got a cool expandable shovel. Keep it in the back of the truck. Yeah. Well, that's what you get for driving a Dodge. You always gotta dig yourself out. Hey, yeah, you never know. You never know. I could dig my truck out too. I think it'd be fun to watch Chris dig himself out if he gets stuck. Yep. But we did have fun. We did get, if you can't tell on the table, we did get a lot of doubles. We each got one of the 14 foot pole saws. They extend out real nice. So we'll use them for doing some tree work. If we got a couple branches, we got to trim up from the ground or one of them that up in the tree and you just can't quite reach it. Be able to cut it off with this. We got Gavin's favorite toy. Axes. Ax well, this is a splitting wall or a sledgehammer. Oh, those ones I don't like as much. As is it a tool ones. we're going to use a lot? Probably. Probably not, no. but we have one. But it looks cool. We each have one. And then, we got the tree loppers, which actually cut really nice. We cut a piece of hard dowel that I had. And then Adam needed a little nipper for his wife. Yep. Pretty much. For the garden. For the garden. Garage and he got scissors. the garage scissors. I also got myself a shop scissors, not a garage scissors. So mine's a shop. Yep. And then I got this on here. It's the scissors. It's got a nice flat blunt point so you can you know if you got a bandit on your finger and want to cut it off you can get it slid in there it's basically like a knife on the back kind of a little bit it's got a bottle opener in it it actually comes apart nice so you can actually stone it and get it sharp if you do dull it it's got sharpener right in the plastic sheath that it sits in and then we got the one tool that we said we wanted. The zombie getter. Yep. Uh-huh. I don't know. We might use it a lot. We might not use it much. But it looks cool. But it looks cool. Uh -huh. Isn't that all that matters? Looks, looks. Are, looks are all that matters. I got a bolt cutter because, you know, I'm on a farm. I always have to cut bolts. And I do have a bolt cutter here that is uh, a Somewhere. piece of crap. And it's somewhere I probably got mad at and threw it in the scrap iron, but this is a nice one. We did put a bolt in there and sheared it off. Adam ducked and covered because he knew it was flying. Yep. Nice. I did get two demolition pry bars, which I mean, they're the only ones that Tony had. So if Adam needs to use them, he's more welcome to use them because I don't think he's going to break. And I got myself another hammer too. So, I don't know, I like my hammers. I never have enough because I can never find them. <laughs> um, then Adam got an X11. He's gonna use that actually in his back pouch for his wedge banger. And then he also got an X17. In case I need a little more oomph on a little wedge. More oomph. Yep. And then we each got an X25 for splitting. Yep. And we each got an X27. And just because it's me, you know, I had to get the pick. Because the one I had here, I broke the wood handle. So now I have a pick again. So if I gotta take a trench through the driveway to run to run water over to the chicken coop. I can get dug through the driveway because that's when I broke the last one of the digging through the driveway. And we got the nice little brush axes, which I think will be nice when you're going in the woods. You want to whack some branches off and get them out of your way. It is sharp. Not razor sharp, but it's sharp enough to do some damage. So we're uh, looking at forward to having some fun. We may do a video of playing with more of these one of these days, but uh, it was definitely fun. 
We do not know how many totes it's going to cost us yet. A lot. But we don't care. Yep. It's for Tony. I'm sure he'll give us a good deal. If he doesn't, well, I guess we'll just give him some crappy totes then. <laughs> so, um, I guess look forward to seeing more of this stuff coming. We'll do some videos with it. We'll maybe have Gavin be the one swinging the big ball. Oh, I'm fine with that. Because Adam and I probably won't last long swinging it, but we'll try. We'll, we'll try. So, maybe we'll actually do it where we'll uh, have Chris get the one out of Tony's that he borrowed. And then we'll have three of us swinging. So, I'm on the back side of the camera, holding the stick. We're gonna have Adam use the lopper and do some cuts, and you can see how they work. Yeah, that works uh, amazingly well. There's no effort. There's no effort, and that is a clean, clean cut. So, it works really well. I mean, granted, this isn't a piece of ash, but this here is a nice dry piece that was sitting outside for a while. You can hear that was a little crunchier, but it still is a nice, clean cut. Effortless. Effortless. I don't know. And then, you know, if you got something like this, you'd probably use Adam's wife's little pruner for nipping some stuff off if you had to. There's probably a little effort to that because that isn't like... Uh, the big ones are actually kind of almost like geared. Yeah, but that's. But that's still, that's a quarter inch piece of wood that he cut with it. And they're using just the scissors, almost cutting just as big a, almost almost just as big. Little difference in size, but pretty close. But hey, they work. So that's all that matters. That's a three ace. So here, that's a three ace bolt. We're gonna put it in here and cut it. Adam said he didn't wanna do the cutting cause uh, he saw me grunt the last time. That shears it off really nice. I think that actually almost cut easier than the last one I cut. I think so. But that might be because I had a little shorty. <laughs> and it goes flying but it cut really nice i didn't break it must be good then so um thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one bye